All right, one day later, I had a ton of comments on the last video asking, can we actually compile against this office? Well, I say a lot. It was one comment. Can we actually compile against the unobfuscated code to develop a mod? And that's a great question. NeoForge answers that for us. Their 1.21.11 release is still compiled against obfuscated Minecraft. So no, we can't do it with NeoForge, not just yet. Uh, and specifically, it's their, what we could possibly do is try to do it in Fabric. And what I've done here is gone to their template and then we're doing 1.21.11 with Mojang mappings for now. We're not splitting anything. You can copy this setup if you want to. I've already downloaded it and I have it loading. It says we have the 1.21.11 release. So if we actually go to that Minecraft, we'll find the merged one. This is just the official mapping. So it's very similar to what we will see when it's unobfuscated. So you, if you remember my last video, like this is a lot of the exact same stuff we were seeing. It looks very similar. I'll try to show you a quirk. So like char D, this is probably not what it's actually named in the code or like in the unobfuscated version, this is probably not right. This will probably have like an actual name instead of just list. And we saw that it came out like this basically, unobfuscated. And I think this is how it, it should be, but we'll see. This makes sense. We, it failed to find the official Mojang mappings for the unobfuscated version because there would be no mappings for the unobfuscated version. That wouldn't make any sense. So we could try to take out this line and reload and see what happens. This is saying mappings has no dependencies. All right, I still have the original file open and then I have the hopefully unobfuscated version. So what we had to do here with the Minecraft version that we're using is 1.21.11 underscore unobfuscated. Now I've had to change some things. The build.gradle at the very top, I'm using an experimental thing, I guess. Uh, fabric MC fabric loom no remap. So the way I was able to find this if you go to maven.fabricmc.net, you'll see basically a directory of what they have available on their Maven that you can use from them. So the issue was that Fabric Loom regularly, I guess this one, uh, uses or depends on intermediary. And the whole thing is we don't need intermediary anymore because everything is officially mapped. We don't need to remap. We don't need the stable mappings, hopefully, because they shouldn't change uh, so much. And they, it's being deprecated anyway. Saw those and I was like, hey, let's let's go ahead and try it. So we had to modify this version instead of 1.14. Instead of 1.14 snapshot, we're doing like a very specific uh, the latest alpha that I was able to see in there, which was 31. And then here we only have the Minecraft version specified, uh, which is using this, the 1.21.11 unobfuscated. However, this fails and obviously mappings will fail because we don't have to remap it. So I ended up, we just ended up removing that basically. That's no worries, but mod implementation fails as well. And I guess because it's not expecting it to be obfuscated anymore, you would just do a regular implementation and then use that regular project. So if you have a mod that was built in was built against the unobfuscated version of Minecraft, you would just be able to do like the implementation of it here and say that we had um, the modern Maven set up. That's my assumption here. So we could try it. We're, go we're gonna go ahead and make a mod um, using this My Cool Mod template that's built against the unobfuscated version of Minecraft. We're gonna take out this line for now because we're not doing implementation or mod implementation. Now this also means we don't have Fabric API. We might be able to even just use it directly, but since they were using mod implementation, I'm assuming it's using intermediary mappings. We've reloaded our project and let's look at this. We were looking at get names and seeing if that was gonna stay a list. So let's go down to get names and this is result in the unobfuscated code. So that's exactly what I was expecting. We have these locally scoped variable names. We're getting a class not found exception. Okay, this is promising. So what I've done, I did just change this to implementation. And so maybe this will work. Uh, not sure yet, but because we had the Fabric API being dependent, um, that's why it failed for me just now. So we got this screen. So you might see that. And what we're gonna do is just not require it anymore directly. loading this is cool and it actually says unobfuscated up here so that's really nice all right we got past the narrator turn the music down and we see that it says 1.21.11 unobfuscated fabric modded so this is really nice so we are in a fully modded environment um so we should be able to uh get into adding items and such uh so we're going to clean this up a bit i'm going to add um some of the basic registration stuff that i usually do not going to do anything too crazy here. We're just going to add it, uh, a very basic item. So I've only registered the one item, the mod stick. We go to mod items. Register items is doing this logic here. I'm not sure if somehow our mod is being like registered before 
items are registered, which is very strange. So that's kind of the issue I'm working with now. It should accept intrusive holders, but since the value is null, it's telling me it doesn't accept intrusive holders. So I've gone through this whole thing here. Because if, like I said, item tries to create an intrusive holder on built-in in, from there, but if it's null, it throws can, can't create intrusive holders. Otherwise, it computes it and creates the intrusive holder, which is this registry holding the item itself. So that makes sense to me. But I don't understand why um, this stuff is not actually happening. Okay, so I was right. It was a timing issue. So what I've done here is I've actually created a mixin that is uh, inside of built-in registries. So let's start here. Inside of built-in registries, there is the method called bootstrap. And this is what's actually creating the contents of the game and then freezing all of the registries so that no new content is registered like at runtime, basically. And you can see what happens during freeze and all that. So basically, right after everything is created, then we register our mod content with this mixin. So we're injecting right after that create contents call. And then all we're doing is calling to register items. And then here, it is literally just loading this class. And so by loading this class, we're calling to register item when this is initialized. So this should have registered our item. And this is like a little helper thing I copied over from uh, items.class. You could have done this like four or five different ways. You could have done um, built-in registries.item.register. You could have just done registry.register, built-in registries.item. Could have done all, uh, a lot of different ways. So we should have it registered and it should look like a stick based off of our items mod stick file. So let's just load into the game. We're going to create a new peaceful super flat. So creative peaceful super flat. And we don't have a creative mode tab registered, but we should be able to just slash give and then do at p my cool mod. And then we see right there, uh, it does not look like a stick, but it does have our functionality. So this is good. This is good. Um, so I'm not sure why the resource location isn't working. Not a huge deal. We will try to figure that out in a moment. What I found out basically is that this assets folder is not being loaded at all. Uh, if you Even if you do the lang file in there, it's not going to do anything. It's not going to change the display name. So what I did was, yes, I copied fresh animations uh, as a zip, but I did modify it so it's like literally it's fully custom besides the, um, the icon, uh, which is the pack.png. So I updated the pack.mc meta so it's Michael Mod Resources has that. And then assets just has Michael mod with items laying and the icon that fabric expects. So we should be able to move this over, press on, let it reload. And then hopefully now, okay. So we have a, we have a little bit of a workaround. We have a slight workaround. We have mod stick and it looks like a stick now. And that's because our actual, uh, resource location that we just, or the actual resource pack that we made and threw into our run resource packs. That included the resources that we were trying to put here. So this is a kind of a dodgy workaround, but it does work. Um, and that's that's kind of all that matters is we have a way to to get started. This whole process should improve and should get cleaner as we're going forward. The uh, actual tools themselves will support this like fabric loader will I'm sure this will be fixed. You won't have to worry about this in like a month or whatever or in a couple months whenever the snapshot cycle starts for the next release. Um, but this is how you get started. Yeah.